This was a rough one. Hazy Maze Cave, not an easy section of this speedrun. There is a bunch of clips, a bunch of crazy jumps. I was not ready for this and this took a long time. So enjoy a little bit of me going crazy, a little bit of my pain, my suffering. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see any of these shenanigans live, follow at twitch.tv slash rodskaden. And without any further ado, on to the video. All right, what's next? Okay, so here, here he goes, does the normal stuff in Hazy Maze Cave. Now this, like this first part, okay. But why does he do, do this? He does a... A half jump, like a, a a backwards jump. Is it to? Oh, do you need a triple jump? Is that? Yeah, he triple jumps off of that. Swimming beast in the cavern. I guess that is the first start, anyways. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I need to be really careful. Yeah. I actually prefer I until today I, I didn't even know about this camera <laughs> but I kind of prefer it no harm no fall die I feel like I'm becoming a little bit more aggressive as I play Mario I think what people say is that video games make you violent has some standing I understand why did I why did I die? Because this game is making me, making me incredibly violent. I think we do need to ban Mario from every household. Because I'm clearly just jumping off the walls here. <laughs> Wait, I'm literally jumping off the walls. <laughs> I wasn't even planning on that. I'm not a very punny person. Like, I don't, I don't usually pun. Puns are, I don't know. I don't really like puns. Not really my thing. Not really my cup of tea. Hey, okay, I did it, I did it, I did it. Hazy Maze Cave, Lethal Lava Land, all of these incredibly dark levels were for little three-year-old rods. It was too much. And that's one, that's a characteristic that I feel games in the N64 had a lot. They... They kind of had this gritty, the textures and everything, it kind of had this gritty, realistic look to it. It didn't feel cartoony, even though, you know, by today's standards, when we look back at it, it is very cartoony. It... It was, like, scary, some of the things. Ocarina of Time? Majora's Mask? Yeah. Like, the spiders freaked me out. The Skulltulas? Or the Redeads? The Redeads were terrifying. They're terrifying in general. Anything in that dumb uh, well in that in Kakariko, like the dark temple or whatever. But yeah, the moon. The moon, I think, is the pinnacle for when I was little. Specifically, the things I saw. The moon was just like, who would ever? I remember actually thinking this as a kid. Who would ever play this game? Why would you ever play this game? <laughs> and now, I love Majora. <laughs> Specifically, I never got to play it until the 3DS version. Maybe that has something to do with it, because the 3DS version kind of helps you out with scheduling everyone and stuff like that. Where I know that the game is not so nice in its original form. Still can figure out the 3DS version, just got frustrated. Yeah, it's still a lot of trial and error. Like, figuring out everyone's schedules, which order you need to do things. But... I feel like, also, that's just for me, it's something I enjoy doing. It's kind of like figuring out uh, an Ace Attorney game, in a way. Where <laughs> it's mostly trial and error. And at least Ace Attorney has kind of a, a quicker turnaround with that. Where you're not, you know, spending a full day, you have to reset the cycle, lose your things. Majora's Mask is very punishing. I just loved the concept of the tr of kind of the time thing, and even though, you know, it it's not the best implementation of something like that. Like games that came afterwards, 
that it's so much better, but you just don't really, like... I don't know, the mixture of the concepts and stuff like that, it just really threw me in. Even the, the tone, getting to... The tone of it was super cool, too. Because it is a very dark game, especially for Nintendo standards. Uh, so that was super, super cool. Not because, oh yeah, oh wow, it's dark. But like, it was a dark, darker game that worked. No, it wasn't just dark for the sake of being dark. And I think that matters too. It's just like how that game that came out a few years ago, <clears throat> that the trailer shocked everyone. The um, hatred, which is like black and white and you're killing civilians just being dark for the sake of being dark, and it clearly, no one even cares about that game anymore. I think they did it in a way that, that really worked out. The Clock Tower theme slaps? Yes. I think then Koji Kondo had a thing with clock themes, because, I don't know, this this game doesn't have a really good clock theme. Never mind. I don't know why, why I haven't looked up the tutorial yet. I guess it looked pretty self-explanatory, but... It's not. Three different ways to do it. What's the positioning on this? They do it so easily. It's honestly kind of frustrating. <laughs> they just go for it. An intermediary thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna try, once I learn everything, I'm gonna try running the speedrun with save states and then. Once I, I feel okay at doing that, I'll run it. What's the other method? <laughs> it's the bottom right one that I'm looking at. Go through the door. One, two, three. Okay. I guess they do the kick to make it faster. I thought that it maybe was just a little flare thing, but I think it's actually a thing. Yeah, this is a good angle. I'm okay with this. Game over. Uh, okay, he just jumps. And he kind of goes idle. Doesn't really push forward that much. Yes! No, 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 no! Close. Close, but no cigar, as they say. Where does that saying come from? Would it be like, because cigars was a prize? Why would something be close, but not a cigar? Oh, maybe because, like, a, an original cigar was expensive. So to have something... Oh, there we go. Why is it not working for me? Yes! Okay, it is pulling back a little bit. That took me 42 minutes. I guess I switched the, the method halfway through. I guess we can go check out what we have next. Okay, he goes back in. Yeah, that, it's that trick. Okay. Triple, triple hazy jump emergency. Emergency hazy jump. It's kind of a similar concept to what we did in Thwomp Fortress. I think I'll be okay. I'm gonna check the video one more time just to see the the spacing of it. The second the second jump needs to land on the platform for the third to go. It needs to be frame perfect. <laughs> Mario just seems so jolly to dive off of a cliff. Mario's way too eager. He just... Oh. So I'm gonna watch a tutorial. A tutorial. Oh, wait a, wait a second. Wait a sec. You can just do it off of that platform. You can just be like, oh, hello, hello. No, Mario. No, Mario. Resist. Resist, Mario. Okay. Resist the- no, no, Mar- There we go, okay. 
you'll end up here, so here it is. and then you want to be holding the up notch the entire time if you've done it right you'll end up in the exact so he spot spams he spams the turn camera button while he's at the door a good visual cue to look for is the dark patch where i'm landing and that's where you can begin your single jump so for the triple jump you're eventually trying to end up on the very corner of the green platform mm. where the heart shape is like i said the single jump needs to start in the dark patch the double jump needs to land slightly forward and the third jump needs to end up in the corner of yeah. you can just hold straight but it's not really working hello welcome back welcome back I am trying a new trick in the same area. I think you want cookies. Yoshi's cookies? Have you ever played Yoshi's cookies? That was the game, man. Okay, here we go. Oh! He was right! He didn't lie! What kind of cookies are your favorite kind of cookies? Because I like a really nice, moist cookie. Nice earwax cookie. Mm. Uh, I like. <laughs> I don't know. What I'm... I I like a really nice snickerdoodle cookie. <laughs> I'm a I'm a snickerdoodle fan. Chocolate chip. Get those ear chips. I I don't like hard crunchy cookies. You know, to me it really needs to be that the soft cookie, not not the gross crumbly cookie. Ugh. I need some softness, some some pull, that chocolate that's melting, it's pulling the chip. That's what I want. Now I'm getting hungry. But Erica, remember when you're sick, it's not good to have anything sugary. It messes with your immune system. So you don't wanna you don't wanna be doing that. You wanna have your body ready for fighting as much as it can. Why are you triple jumping then? I'm a beetle. I like both crunchy and soft, but it has to be, oh yeah, brownie cookies. That's even good too. Mmm, a good brownie cookie. You know something I discovered recently? I didn't even know it existed. Recently as in like the last year. I didn't even know it existed is monkey bread. Monkey bread is delicious. I, I didn't even know it was a thing. But if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend. Monkey bread is the magic of the future. Imagine, imagine the future. Now imagine it's magical. That's monkey bread. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing sanity. This is the point of the stream where I lose sanity. It happens every stream. You've been here a while, you know. <laughs> you know what goes on. Oh, you know, you know what monkey bread is. There you go. Pulls apart by the little chunks. But I didn't know what it was. Um, for a really long time. I mean, most of my life until last year. I love things that are moist. I love, like, really nice moist cakes, moist breads. I also like sourdough. Mmm. I like that sour flavor. Yeah, sourdough is delicious. Like, especially when it's n it's like those bakery breads that are sourdough. Ooh, ooh, bakery, bakery sourdough bread. Oh, oh. Food stream, food stream. Yeah, no, I'm making myself hungry. And I already had dinner. Ice chips. Ice chips? Like potato chips, but ice? I am confused. Am I just being dumb? Is this a normal thing? I am not, I am not. Oh, 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 okay. For your leg? Wait, what, what are you using crushed ice for? To chew and eat. <laughs> but you're sick. Don't do that. He's on Mario camera. And it's all good. You should. Was he on Mario camera before? Press Mario cam and C down. And then start hear him say Mario cam. I did not hear him say Mario Cam. That's gonna make a world of difference. Okay, I just need to tighten that timing a little bit. <laughs> just mash the camera. <laughs> You're crushing us? No, Erica. Thou shall not crush ye dice. You know what happened to the last person that ate ice? They became ice themselves. Their hearts froze over. They could no longer love their loved ones. They became stone. Their smile, never to be seen again. <laughs> no, you're, you're not supposed to accept the ice heart. You need to, you need to, you need to be like, oh, I need to redeem myself now, and you become somewhat British. No, don't accept the ice heart. But I like, no, it's cold. 
You want to be warm like a puppy. Wouldn't you want to be a puppy? You know what the famous saying says? The only cold puppies are dead ones. It's so dark. <laughs> Never mind. This game is just doing things to me, Erica. Things I cannot explain. <laughs> yeah. No, you. After you've speedrun a game, you're a different person. <gasps> Every night, I can feel my leg and my arm, even my fingers. You can feel it when you're close, and that's the most painful part. See, this is why I need an ice heart? Why? So I don't feel the pain? But the pain isn't in my heart. It's in... It's like... It's all over my body. <laughs> Is that frustration pain? It's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be easy. <laughs> this trick is supposed to be easy. Okay, so the dude says, the dude says, I just need to hold forward. So I'm gonna trust the dude. <laughs> oh, thanks, dude. Um, I think I got it. Check this out. See? Here we go. I told you. The moment I told you, it happened. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. <laughs> I love that that actually worked. <laughs> how is that gonna work? <laughs> I decided to be like, okay, I got it now. And then I do it. Right. Not gonna complain. Uh, I'm I'm so jaded at this point. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Uh, the next trick is gonna be hazy, wally, jumpy. <gasps> no! <sighs> I have to do it again. Recap of what I did. Oh, hello, I'm Toad. Which means I I have to go back. That's so stupid. I did it so quickly. Oh, hello, Kylie. How are you? Look everyone, it's Kylie. It's uh it's like when in a in a show a character comes in and everyone cheers. Erica's here. Hey, Erica. She said hello. It's Mips. We'll call him. Oh, Bunny. Gotcha! Okay, 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 okay. We got the bunny. Now we need to figure out Drogi. Why didn't I just go to Drogi? Drogi's fantastic. Okay. Am I out? Oh, there we go. Okay, it's not not too difficult. Not too difficult. And I'm guessing I have to do it here too. There we go. And that's it. If it's super complicated, I'll just leave. end with a mip clip. Oh, that's simple. All right, that's like playing the game normally. Let's go. Yeah, there isn't even much to do here. At least we get to end with a really nice, chill song. Finish out the night. We did so much today. Come on, Mario. There we. Wow. I guess... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Mario, no. No, don't baby crawl. Don't baby crawl. Yeah! There we go, there we go. Yeah! And... Uh, I guess that's 16 stars. I'm guessing that after that, it's Bowser. And that's gonna be where we stop for the day. We we have all 16 stars, we just need to get to the end of the game now. Thank you for sticking around. I'm glad that you stayed around, listened to some really random commentary by the end there. This is going crazy. Hope you have a good night, sleep well, and I will see you soon.